what's going on? I'm the college Jew, and we're on a raft on Let's Play Zelda 2 484 Run. Yeah, uh, I decided not to finish up the third palace there. Uh, not like I usually did go to the boss or whatever, because I just realized I don't need to. Because, just like the first game, you get a key, you get a magic key, uh, in this game. So, there you go. And welcome to the eastern part of Hyrule here. Yeah, I don't want that, I don't want that point bag yet, but it's 200 points there if you want it. Yeah, the enemies around this area, uh, you can't kill them with a regular sword, you gotta, you need a, uh, spell to kill them a certain spell, so. And guess where we're gonna get it? In this new town here, Naboru, I think this one is. Yeah, the uh, recovery guys say uh, different things too. He doesn't say like, oh, I can recover your magic. He just, you know, says some cheesy line, assuming that you already know what he's gonna do. And this woman's thirsty. Nice. Uh, sure. Here's some water for you. And she lets us in. Damn! I really wish it was that easy. That'd be... fantastic. But it isn't. Eh. Whatever. And we get the... Fire spell. Does what the guy said. You, uh, it does. Makes your sword. Makes your sword. Wow. Epic fail. Again. <laughs> makes your sword shoot fire. I got tongue twisted real easily. Sorry. <laughs> and this woman says like revived. Yeah, all that. That's a pretty cool thing. I would like to show you guys. Just wanted to show you. Yeah, the, uh, the, uh, the people, the random people walk around, like, say other things, say, uh, different things, too. Like, they say, uh, like, oh, you have to save Hyrule, please save, please save our town, that kind of thing, whatever. Let's, let's try out the fire spell here. Whoa! Wow, that goes across the entire screen, damn! Nice. Oh, and this guy's gonna take forever. Yeah. That was too horrible. Alright, now. Go this way first. Leads to the fourth palace. And, oh. Oh, the uh, spiders in the uh, forests here, they take a little longer to uh, kill there. A little more HP. Those eyes there, you can only hit them when their eyes are open. And you can get a 1-up here, but, uh... I may get it. Just because I only have one life left and I don't want to get a game over. Because that would really ruin this challenge if I just get the game over whenever I want it. But let's go over here first and, uh, fell into a hole! Holy shit! Let's use the shield here because we have to fight a... Lazalfoss, I guess. Yeah, they're similar to the Iron Knuckles, only they're a little better about defending themselves. So, I mean, what I did right there, you could just duck and swing your sword as you're jumping upwards. It's a good way to get them, and we get a kid! After stabbing him, like, four times with a downward thrust. That's a good helmet that guy's wearing. Good hat. I want that hat. This way if someone can, like, drop something on me, I'd be like, what? <laughs> That we just downward thrusted that guy like four times. Little kid. And just bounced off of him. <laughs> and you encounter uh what, is, what are they called? Like I think P hats or something. P heats, I don't know what they're called. Something that starts with a P and has either the word hat or heat in it. I don't, remember. I don't really like 
The only Zelda like enemies that I really know that I really like can name off the top are Stalfoss, uh, Moblins, um, Wallmasters, uh, Dodongo, yeah. Uh, what else? See, I'm like having trouble already. But whatever. Octoroks, obviously. These ones are worth like 20 points, too. If we gain a magic, a level in magic, awesome. If we gain a magic in level. God. Oh, what's wrong with me in this uh, series here? Maybe I'm just bored because all this, because this is all just jumping around and going through areas and whatever. And I'm not really talking to anybody because the people in this game say some really dumb shit. I'm telling you right now, like you do not want me to talk to the people in this game. It'll lower your intelligence. I swear to God, it'll be like, ugh, no. Not like Crystalis where, you know, the people in that game make some sort of sense when they're talking. Not here. Not in this, not in this game. And this is Darunia, Darunia, whatever, I don't know. Just like Saria, if you talk to certain people, they will turn to bats and hit you. So, yeah, I'm trying to demonstrate right here. Come on, turn to a bat. God damn it. Now see that chimney there? We want to go down that. By jumping up here. On this roof. On the other roof. Which I feel like Mick Foley jumping through all these, on all these roofs here. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Mick Foley's a wrestler who, uh... Auditioned for a rest... Auditioned, like... For wrestling school by jumping off of a roof. Yeah. And we get another sword technique! We get the upward thrust. Basically, if you wanna, yeah, you hold up before you jump, or up and the direction you're walking somewhere along the line, you gotta hit up, and you will stab upwards. It's not as not as good as a downward thrust, but ain't bad either. So that's okay. How come these people aren't turning into bats? Turn into a bat. Thank you. <laughs> and oh, looks like a magic uh, thing. <laughs> yeah, see, there's not enough like room for them to keep talking. You know what I mean? But whatever. So we get a spell for saving that woman's child. Nice. And we get the Reflect spell. Basically what that does, it reflects uh, enemy magic, and it also like makes your shield stronger against you know fire attacks and such and such. Uh, that's about it for this episode. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.